here I'm going to show you one of four internal tools. Uh, I'm really proud of this tool. Actually, with Javier, we we always try to think how we can make, how can we how can we improve the process of of software development. And usually, most of the time, people come to us for our expertise. Uh, well, both of us are like MVPs from Developer Express. Javier is Microsoft MVP also. Um, well, like we kind of do have experience. We do this like almost 24 seven uh, because we're in different time zones. So there is always someone writing SAS code in our office or Developer Express code in our office. So, but there is sometimes that you need to show your expertise with numbers basically. So, um, Lately, maybe last two years, we have uh, basically opened a small report department in our office. There is people that is only handling reporting and reporting benchmarks. And also with uh, that goes with um, dashboards also. So uh, a lot of customers come to us like my report is slow, uh, XPO is slow, what can we do? So in one of the other meetups we show, the tool that we have to measure the performance of the queries in SAP. So in this case, we're going to show the performance of the reports. These are extra reports, but this can easily be applied to SAP reports because they are basically the same. So the idea is here is that you have one connection or X amount of connection. And once you have that, basically uh, you show, you create databases. For example, let's say that you have database A with one schema and um, with X configuration. And then you have database B with the same schema, but a different configuration. Maybe the indexes are in different way in the second database. And you want to see and check if you run a report with a set of indexes, how will it run, how fast it is. And if you change the indexes to a different way, how fast can it be? So here you have uh, this section to set up as many connections as you want or databases as you want. Um, so then the tool is a little bit simple. We just have something like this, uh, where we load the layout for the report. We are able to set the data as uh, basically as XML, like a uh, data set from ADO.net or JSON. And in this new version, we can actually uh, switch the connection. Uh, we have the default connection because what the what this tool does, um, and for that I will show you a different report, is it analyzes the report itself. So, for example, this one, this one it says that it, it inside there are six queries. Here are the queries, and you see the parameters for each query. Then you will see uh, basically all the possible expressions in in each of the objects of the report. So you can easily see like X rate for, for the report. You don't have to go object by object, checking the expression and so on and so forth. You have everything in text. Uh, we use this before because we, we are doing a migration from crystal reports to extra reports. And we need to have a comparison. Like we have the crystal here with this formula and we have the extra report with this formula and see that it match. So, here is the, basically the composition of the bands of the report, uh, all the binding expressions, and so on and so forth. And in the end, you have the report parameters. This report is a little bit complex, so that's why you see so much information. So then you have the parameters for the for the report. And um, let me see if this had this information. So also we check some things that can bring rendering problem. So if the label is set that it can grow, it it will have to recalculate the height of the band and a lot of other controls. So that will take time. Uh, so we're checking for some special things that will make the rendering of the report slower. And also we have some diagnostic snapshots. So in here you can see in the header, um, well in here we, we have not uh, um, associated this with the, with the database connection. But you can see that the, the report executed 532 methods inside for rendering. That can be anything from getting the style 
evaluating the expressions, writing the context, maybe there is an image and it's a, in a URL, so getting the image from the URL. So basically it means that 532 things happen inside of the report. And also we have, well, like the count of each of the methods that was executed, reports, um, execute the methods more than one time because like writing ban, if there are like 10 pages with 10 bands, you will write that a hundred times basically. Um, so you can see how long it took to, to execute each of the, the methods. And this is the total time. So for example, this was 99 times, then this is the total time. So 0 0.08 milliseconds. So it's really, really fast. What we realized when we saw this tool, I mean, the result of this tool actually, is that the rendering in .NET is really, really, really fast. And Developer Express have done an amazing job uh, doing it the most efficient way possible because that uh, is kind of really low level code in general. So um, kudos for them. It's like, I'm always surprised on, on their expertise in general, how, how, how much they know about the .NET framework. Uh, then you can see the percentage that this took from the total render time of of the um, of the report. So as you can see, most of the time uh, was clearing the data. So in general, what we managed to understand from this report is that basically the queries uh, it has six queries are too slow. Uh, there is something in the queries that maybe you did the wrong join uh, or the wrong index. So people try to think, okay, there is something wrong in the rendering. I, did I make some mistake or something? But no, from most of the reports that we have analyzed so far with this tool, um, we came to the conclusion that most of the time in general is being experienced the data source. Um, we don't have the new results here because we, I don't have the last uh, data from this test, but here this took 22 milliseconds. So 22,000 milliseconds, basically two sec 22 seconds. Um, but now that we have that information, we were able to reduce this one from 22 to three and just opening the connection takes two seconds. So we reduce it to one basically. So once you can prove it with numbers, you know where to attack, how to improve the performance, and how to show it to the customer, of course. Um, there are some things that we want to include in this tool, but we have not because it's not a standard in general in the, in the database world is, okay, we have the rendering time of the UI. Basically, this is the .NET runtime rendering and how, how the report is executing the methods and events of the report. Uh, it's a lot of really useful information there. But right now, the optimization happened basically by changing the queries. Um, so we did it in a separate way, but we are thinking about including that, that it will show you to see the execution plan of these queries. So you see in the order that the query is resolved and how much you can improve um, in time. So basically, uh, once you have the numbers, you know where to spend your time and what do you need to improve. So uh, to be able to reduce something from 22 seconds to three seconds, and we can, you can make it even shorter, like one and one and a half seconds, because for, as I told you, from those three seconds, two is opening the connection. So if you pass a connection that is already alive, you save those two seconds. So two seconds doesn't sound as much, but it's 66% uh, of the three total seconds. And it's like 1000 uh, times faster than the 22 seconds. So once you're showing this to customers, every second counts. If you can save like 500 milliseconds, then uh, it will pay in the long run. Well, so that's everything for me uh, for this tool. If someone have any uh, questions about it or or then you have like some ideas, you can uh, write us, me or Javier, uh, or write something in the Facebook group and we will uh, answer any questions that you have.